Hello, kindred spirits. Welcome to the Magical Mystical Divinations Podcast. I'm your host, Southern Mystic Tama P, creator of mysticdivinations.com. That's mystic with a K, by the way. I invite you into my sacred space in East Tennessee, where I will share with you topics on inner magic, mystical insight, navigating spirituality, and most importantly, how to use divination to enhance and improve your daily life. Grab your favorite drink and hang out with me for a spell for lighthearted insight, tips and tidbits, a lot of wisdom as we connect on a higher level beneath our beautiful Mother Moon. For joining me today. It means the world to me that I am able to share some insight with you about how divination and magic has worked for me as I have traveled my spiritual journey searching for truth, meaning, wisdom, and healing. I have questioned my beliefs, my values, and at times even my identity. In search of enlightenment, I have discovered so much information that I can barely contain it all inside of me, which is why I created my website and more recently this podcast so that I can share it with you. So welcome to episode five of season one. Are you ready for spiritual awakening and enlightenment? The truth is, my journey to enlightenment has been a transformative process, which I recognize will be a lifelong journey with lessons and revelations along the way, which the universe has provided and will provide when I need it. Along the way, I have met many friends, and through meeting them, I have received information at pivotal moments, and these people have also helped change my life. Here is one brief example. I was at a local metaphysical shop, and there was an intuitive reader working there that day. Her name was Kim. Hi, Kim, if you're listening. She approached me about a reading, and although it's not what I was there for, it was actually offered to me when I needed it most, but least expected it. I had fallen backwards on my spiritual journey. I had taken an absence from my meditations and practices, and at first I thought about declining the offer for the reading because I wasn't feeling very soulful. But since I had never had this kind of intuitive reading before, I followed Kim into a small room where she spread some charms and crystals across the table, speaking to me about my intuition and my inspirations and the doubts that were holding me back. I think she sensed already that, you know, something was blocking me. She asked me to pick three items from the table, which would tell her something about me based on the associations she had applied to each specific charm or stone. It was about this same time of year that she read for me intuitively, maybe a couple of years ago. At the conclusion of the reading, she asked me if I knew about the cosmic gateway that was just about to open, and she imparted a little knowledge about the cosmic event. I listened to her, and I returned home and gave thought to what she had told me about myself based upon my three choices of the trinkets and stones. I felt a renewal of interest surge back into me for my beloved magical practices. And if you tuned into episode five, you know exactly the magic I speak of, our inner magic. Sometimes our inner magic lives on the outermost layer, easily accessible, while other times it can be buried deeper and will require a little coaxing to bring it out. Well, Kim had helped me to tap into my inner magic again because I'd let it go dormant. This may have happened to you as well or can happen to you if it hasn't already. That's why this gateway, this portal that is opening is such a big deal. I use the energy from this annual cosmic event almost daily for the two-week period it was most available to me. I became more connected with the divine Information, wisdom, and answers started coming at me in waves, sometimes becoming overpowering. And all I can say is, wow, more revelations came and more puzzle pieces came together. First, the gateway I speak of is the Lion's Gate portal. As Sirius rises amidst the heart of Leo energy, a connection is forged between the realm of spirit and the material world, symbolized by the midpoint between the June solstice and September equinox. The alignment creates a potent energy gateway associated with manifestation, spiritual healing, and transformation. A yearly phenomenon, the Lion's Gate portal graces us between July 26th or July 28th and August 12th. The Lion's Gate portal emerges as a channel for spiritual rejuvenation, manifestation, and holistic healing, opening the cosmic gateway for us to honor our spirit, raise our vibrations, and to channel the majestic spirit of the lion, a potent assertion of inner power. 
offering a chance to acknowledge our past evolutions, failures, and triumphs. Within the Lionsgate portal is the zenith, occurring on the majestic date of 8-8. On this day, the veil between realms thins, gifting us with a precious opportunity for us to embrace a transformative journey of the soul. 8-8 marks the moment when the sun strides halfway through the Leo zodiac, a sign associated with lion energy and heart. A powerful synergy unfolds, merging celestial and astrological forces to create a potent concoction of energy that propels us towards the realm of spirit and infinite potential. 8-8 in numerology, or 88, represents infinity and DNA activation, allowing us to take this serious energy to infuse into the very core of our being, which is part of the magic that transpired for me when I worked with the energy of the Lionsgate portal when I met Kim. All of my life, I knew I was different, and I was curious about my differences. I recognized that there were secrets being kept from me, and although I asked questions, the answers were vague and evasive. But lo and behold, the universe gave me the answers unexpectedly. You see, a cousin had innocently gifted me an ancestry DNA kit. I didn't rush to use it, but I'd sent it off for results just prior to meeting Kim. After working with the 8-8 Lionsgate portal, the results came in, and in a moment, I can never forget, I discovered who I was, who my real father was. All I can say is it was a surreal moment, and like pieces of puzzles falling from the sky, it all came together, and I had answers and knowledge that would change me forever. You might think this is not so amazing, but I assure you it is. Because I didn't buy the DNA kit nor ask for it. And it wasn't given to prove my parentage, but to trace our heritage, our family heritage. Yet the universe graciously provided me the knowledge and answers I'd been seeking for decades, for most of my life. And I have been ever so thankful. Since that pivotal moment when I read the results, the universe has gifted me knowledge in slow drips at random about who I came from. And from that, my faith has tripled in strength because, as I mentioned, the 8-8 in numerology represents infinity and DNA activation. What is DNA activation and how can it help you or how does it apply to you? Well, all of our DNA contains light codes, information, and wisdom that comes from deep within our ancestry. We humans only use approximately 97% of our DNA. Can you imagine what would happen when you can finally tap into these reservoirs of energy and wisdom? That's what the Lionsgate portal offers to us. We can use this energy to amplify our intuition, elevate our consciousness, and open channels for psychic downloads. You may ask, how can we tap into this powerful energy and use it to manifest with and embrace the Lionsgate energies? First, it depends on our individual needs. We must identify what we need at this moment in our lives. For instance, this past week has been painful and a long week for me. There has been much sadness and grief. To be quite honest, the entire months of June and July have been wrought with unexpected loss and sadness for me and my friends and family. So I'm glad to see this opportunity to heal come into existence. We all need it. But for me, I will need to focus on rejuvenation and healing, which is exactly one of the qualities of the Lionsgate portal. Admittedly, with my strong faith and connection to spirit, I have been able to handle the challenges being thrown at me and thrown at my friends and family. I've been able to send them good, positive healing thoughts and direct my energy in a way that helps not only heal me, but offers them support. That's not me bragging. That's me giving my testimony to a greater power, which I call the divine, God, spirit, and the universe. We can harness the untapped energies from our ancestors that already in, that's already infused in our DNA. The Lionsgate portal is the perfect time to break free from any habits that may be preventing us from being our best selves. I will give you the quick version of how to manifest during the Lionsgate portal and then go a little deeper for those of you who may want to try an experiment or tune. So stay tuned. The simple rundown on how to manifest is to focus on aligning with the positive energy within yourself. Then heighten your awareness further to the focus on the presence of our moon, stars, sun, and planets. Sit and visualize those in your mind. Then you can speak your manifestations aloud or silently to yourself, or even write them on paper or write in your journal, focusing intently on the words and exactly what you are creating with your words. Continue to write or say your manifestation continuously until you believe that they have established a place in your physical world. Then let all of your expectations go and continue on with your day, believing what has been manifested is or will be a reality. So now let's go a little deeper. I am going to give out two exercises or ritual or experiments, whichever term you prefer. Again, this is a great time for healing because the Lionsgate portal activates the heart chakra specifically, offering an opportunity to release past wounds and experience emotional freedom. Our heart chakra is particularly active during Leo season and rules over the chest, the lungs, the breasts, and the circulatory system. Our heart chakra is where the answers to our questions arise. It is the place we can go to figure out what our joy is, what our soul path is, 
and what our next steps should be. Whenever we are feeling disheartened or closed off to the world or to others, it could be because our heart chakra has closed down. Our heart chakra is precious, and so when heartache, betrayal, pain, and grief comes our way, our heart builds walls in order to protect itself. Left unchecked, these walls remain and block us from opening to the love we have for ourselves, for others, and for the world. The minute we start beating ourselves up, shaming ourselves, or blaming others, the wall around our heart simply grows stronger. The way to the heart is with gentle, loving kindness. It first starts with ourselves, and then it expands out to others, our life, and then to the world. If you are feeling that your heart chakra is in need of some love, use the Lionsgate portal to activate and open your heart chakra. You can do this outside, close to nature, or in your sacred space that you created. You can dedicate 10 minutes or 20 minutes or even an hour on the date of 8-8 to work with the powerful energy, using it to rejuvenate yourself. Or maybe, like myself, like I did, I will dedicate a few minutes each day between July the 28th and August 12th to do a few simple things to work towards cultivating my intentions, devoting extra time to the magic of 8-8 on the pinnacle date of 8-8. You can sit in silence or you can sit with an ambient music, taking several very slow, deep, deliberate breaths to settle yourself, being mindful of your intentions and your needs. Focusing on the area of your chest, maybe placing the palm of your hand over your heart, sending the energy that you have tapped into from the very core of the earth, mentally directing it towards your heart, becoming aware of the rhythm of your breathing. This keeps you focused by being mindful and aware. You may want to hold a healing stone in the palm of your hand held next to your heart. But either way, you can visualize that you are cleansing and melting away any blockages to your heart, physical, emotional, and spiritual blockages. See them being washed away, leaving you. And if you feel like crying, let the tears flow freely. This is the trauma and the pain leaking out of your body. Maybe the tears won't come. Maybe you don't feel like crying. Then let your breathing be the release. Maybe take deep, cleansing breaths and push the pain out slowly on the air that leaves your lungs. And visualize any grief and negativity releasing on the expulsion of air. Or maybe you would rather use words to release these emotions. Then let it out. Spit it out onto the ground. Because our earth will reabsorb that energy and use it for something better. Let your mind use whatever it wants to to visualize for this release. The low-level toxins are moving away from your body. They are no longer there to weigh you down. Deep breaths, slow breaths. Feel the weight of the anxiety or depression or grief lift off of you. Now you can open your eyes and focus on a candle's flame or a picture of a happier moment or even a note you wrote to yourself before you started this exercise. In that note, you could have written what you want to release, which would be known as your intention, and then write a positive affirmation below your intention for the conclusion, such as an affirmation saying, I am abundant in all areas of my life, or I am open to receiving divine guidance. You can focus on the affirmation, recite it if you want to, concluding your treatment for the day. And if you want to say a final goodbye to the negativity, say it, because that exact pain and grief is not welcome again. You could end the exercise by drinking a cup of moon water or a healing tea or a bit of your favorite wine, sipping in the positivity and the welcome relief symbolized by the liquid. That's just one way to work with the energy that is the cosmic event of the year. I'm about to share another way to be used at the matrix of the portal. That's why I created this episode, to get your mind thinking. And no matter how you decide to work with the Lionsgate portal, you can tap into and harness the synergy that you need to manifest what you desire. The Lionsgate 88 portal energy is powerful. It is there for us to celebrate the rebirth and return of our spirit energy. We can use the Lionsgate portal to call back all the pieces of our spirit that have been lost or hidden along the way. It's most important that you use your intuition when working with the energy and try not to feed any negative thoughts. The negative thoughts will try to resurface. I'm not saying they won't. You can block those energy zapping negative emotions. Now let's talk about the psychic download that is available during this time, the Lionsgate portal. It can be used to tune into your intuitive powers, explore new dimensions of intuition, and deepen your connection to inner wisdom. Because the Lionsgate portal also activates the third eye chakra. With the high vibrational energy from Sirius beaming our way, we are more likely to receive psychic downloads at this time. We may feel more intuitive or learn something new about the way our intuition speaks to us. I like to think of the third eye as that bridge between our soul and the universe. Our third eye grants access into the unseen world. It also releases feel-good chemicals that can help to make our life on Earth just a little bit easier. And our sun is the best way to begin energizing and opening our third eye chakra, our intuition. That psychic knowing. You can also use an amethyst crystal, with or without the sun. 
Of course, don't do this next exercise during the high sun or when it is at its peak. And if you can't do this outdoors, just charge your crystal in advance on a sunny day or during a full moon by leaving it exposed to the sun's or moon's energy for a few hours, yet protected from any rain or harsh elements, of course. If you can get outdoors, though, the best time to use the energy from the sun is when the sun rises or when the sun is setting. Take your charged crystal and place it in the middle of your forehead, just above your eyes. Take a few deep breaths in and out as you do this. Visualize the purple energy of the amethyst going into your third eye and filling it up with activated energy harnessed from our sun or the moon. If you don't have the amethyst, visualize the golden energy from the sun filling up and activating the energy. If you have the stone, hold the amethyst in place, close your eyes, and look up in the direction of the sun while keeping your eyes closed the whole time. Allow the sun to warm the crystal and activate it if you are outside. Allow the sun to activate your third eye. Once the sun and your crystal meet, or once you feel the intensity of the sun on your third eye, take seven deep breaths in and out, welcoming the energy and awakening of your subconscious, connecting you to the gods, the sun, the universe, connecting you to your highest self. Welcome the knowledge that is coming forward. Welcome the awakening. Repeat this exercise as often as needed, and then pay attention to your intuition. Pay attention to the signs around you. Pay attention to your night dreams and your daydreams. This is your higher self communicating with you. This communication from the universe can come from our dreams, visions, spirit guides, and angels, or through simply hearing things while in a state of relaxation. Meditation and automatic writing are great ways to open up this energy and to receive guidance not only during this cosmic opening of portals, but any time we connect with spirit. It's just that this event increases the probability and amplification of such psychic awakening. The ancients believed that Sirius was home to heaven, angels, and otherworldly beings. Under the Lionsgate portal energy, we were more likely to receive messages, dreams, signs, and visits from our loved ones who have passed, and from our spirit guides and our guardian angels. One of the strongest vibrations from Sirius is this energy of freedom. Sirius illuminates our soul and spiritual bodies. By understanding this, we gain a sense of freedom. Sirius has very peaceful vibrations too, so spending time in nature and meditation is a great way to tap into this peaceful energy and use it for healing and restoring your mind, body, and soul. This expansion of spiritual wisdom helps us awaken to our true potential and help us connect with and expand our higher awareness. If you are willing to work with the opening of the Lionsgate portal, be prepared to feel a sense of deep power resonating from within. Be prepared for a king sense of knowing. Also be prepared for a message or messages from our universe. Be sure to watch for those signs because they could come from our loved ones and ancestors. This is a perfect time to work on spiritual healing and spiritual growth and transformation. I would love to hear from you about your experiences with this transformative gateway. You can connect with me on my Facebook page or Facebook group under the name Mystic Divinations. I'm also on Instagram, X, YouTube, and TikTok. This has been a Mystic Divinations podcast. I am your host, Tama P. Be sure to visit my website, mysticdivinations.com. That's mystic with a K. Please like and subscribe to this podcast. Thank you for your support. Mm-hmm.